Hello friends. Since it's grown up day, I thought I would dress like one of my favorite grown ups and read one of my favorite grown ups favorite stories. So one of my favorite grown ups is my dad. Now my dad used to be a teacher just like me. He's retired now. But he used to be a teacher just like me. And do you know what? He taught high schoolers and then he taught kids in college and he taught them about some of the best books ever written. And he even taught them how to write and speak better so that they could get their points across really, really, really well. So in his honor, I thought it'd be fun to read his favorite picture book, which is The Saggy Baggy Elephant. This is a little golden book and it's written by K and B Jackson and the pictures are by Tengren. A happy little elephant was dancing through the jungle. He thought he was dancing beautifully. One, two, three, kick. But whenever he went one, two, three, well, his big feet pounded so that they shook the whole jungle. And whenever he went kick, well, he kicked over a tree or a bush. The little elephant danced along, leaving wreckage behind him until one day he met a parrot. Why are you shaking the jungle all to pieces? cried the parrot, who had never before seen an elephant. What kind of animal are you anyway? <laughs> the little elephant said, I don't know what kind of animal I am. I live all alone in the jungle. I dance and I kick and I call myself Sookie. It's all, it's a good sounding name and it fits me, don't you think? Maybe, answered the parrot. But it, if it does, it's the only thing that does fear you. Your ears are too big for you and your nose is way too big for you. And your skin is much, much too big for you. It's baggy and saggy. You should call yourself saggy baggy. Sookie sighed. <sighs> His pants did look pretty wrinkled. I'd be glad to improve myself, he said, but I don't know how to go about it. What shall I do? I can't tell you. I never saw anything like you in all my life, replied the parrot. The little elephant tried to smooth out his skin. He rubbed it with his trunk. That did no good. He pulled up his pant legs, but they fell right back into dozens of wrinkles. It was very disappointing. And the parrot's, parrot's saucy laugh didn't help a bit. <laughs> well, just then, a tiger came walking along. He was a beautiful, sleek tiger. His skin fit him like a glove. Sookie rushed up to him and said, Tiger, please tell me why your skin fits so well. The parrot says mine is all baggy and saggy, and I do want to make it fit me like yours fits you. The tiger didn't care a fig about Sookie's troubles, but he did feel flattered and important. And he did feel just a little mite hungry. My skin always did fit, said the tiger. Maybe it's because I take a lot of exercise, but, added the tiger, if you don't care for exercise, I shall be delighted to nibble a few of those extra pounds of skin off of you. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you, cried Sookie. I love exercise. Just watch me. Sookie ran until he was well beyond reach. Then he did somersaults and rolled on his back. He walked on his hind legs and he walked on his front legs. And when Sookie wandered down to the river to get a big drink of water, he met the parrot. The parrot laughed harder than ever. <laughs> I, need, I tried exercising, sighed the little elephant. Now I don't know what to do. Soak in the water the way crocodile does, laughed the parrot. Maybe your skin will shrink. So Sookie tramped straight into the water. 
but before he had soaked nearly long enough to shrink his skin, a great big crocodile came swimming up, snapping his fierce jaws and looking greedily at Sookie's tender ears. The little elephant clambered up the bank and ran away feeling very discouraged. I'd better hide in a dark place where my bags and sags and creases and wrinkles won't even show, he said. By and by, he found a deep, dark cave, and with a heavy sigh, <sighs> he trampled inside and sat down. Suddenly, he heard a fierce growling and grumbling and snarling. He peeped out of the cave and saw a lion padding down the path. I'm hungry, roared the lion. I haven't had a thing to eat today. Not a thing except a thin, bony antelope and a puny monkey and a buffalo, but such a tough one. And two turtles, but you can't count turtles. There's nothing much to eat between those saucers they wear for clothes. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry I could eat an elephant. And he began to pad straight toward the dark cave where the little elephant was hidden. Oh, this is the end of me. Sags, bags, wrinkles, and a hole, thought Sookie. And he let out one last trumpeting, Hello! Just as he did, the jungle was filled with a terrible crashing and an awful stomping. A whole herd of great gray wrinkled elephants came charging up, and the big hungry lion jumped up in the air, turned around, and ran away as fast as he could go. Sookie peeped out from the cave, and all the big elephants smiled at him. Suki thought they were the most beautiful creatures he had ever seen. I wish I looked just like you, he said. Oh, you do, grinned the big elephants. You're a perfectly dandy little elephant. And that made Suki so happy, he began to dance one, two, three, kick through the jungle with all those big, brave, friendly elephants behind him. This saucy parrot watched them dance, but this time he didn't laugh not even to himself. Oh, look it. There's another picture where Sookie's very happy with his new friends. What a nice story about being yourself no matter what and working hard to find some new friends, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed the story today and I'll see you soon.